from their families and subjected to sexual abuse. Dead bodies left out in the open for days. Shortages of food and water. Shocking claims from an aid worker in Sri Lanka as this program obtained the first independently filmed pictures from one of the internment camps set up by the authorities to house Tamils who fled the civil war. Channel 4 News managed to get cameras past the army checkpoints into a camp in the northern city of Vavunya, where Tamils who've escaped the battle zone have been taken. Our Asia correspondent Nick Peyton Walsh has this report. These are Sri Lanka's internment camps where tens of thousands of Tamils who fled the war are held. As a journalist, you can't come here unless the army guides you around. But these pictures were taken independently by a cameraman for Channel 4 News who managed to get into the camps. He filmed for the first time people talking freely about life here. They wanted their identities hidden, but spoke of the thirst, the struggle that came here after the perilous trek from the front lines. One man said he's an aid worker at the camp. Personally, I saw four dead bodies inside the camp, three women and a man. Worms came out of the mouth of one. It must have been there for three to four days. People just lived with the dead bodies without doing anything. Some children were close to one. They didn't know that it was dead. People don't know who to complain to, so they just leave it. I saw mothers unable to feed their children. One asked me with tears for two spoons of milk powder to feed her kid, but I couldn't help her. Stories of families separated by war and then imprisoned apart during the peace. Fathers and mothers without their children, this man looking for his parents. There's still children here without their parents. They're living through hardship. We don't have a life here. This is a jail. We don't know who is alive and who is dead. We learned of two children who died when they were caught up in a crowd that was trying to get to a food distribution truck. People were exhausted. They were only thinking about getting food, nothing else. Not even children under their feet. There's a lack of coordination and competence here. The government's only objective is to eradicate people from the areas the Tamil Tigers controlled. The government denies these allegations and says it's mounting a huge aid effort. But another aid worker at the camp made a more serious claim. She said she believed soldiers were abducting young women and sexually abusing them. One elderly mother was crying inside the camp. I asked why. She said they'd taken her daughter away and she hadn't heard from her at all. There were many people taken from the camps that go missing. The women are sexually abused and no one takes any action. There's no one to complain to. Nobody dares to talk. They know they're being watched. They're afraid they'll go missing. She said women had to bathe in the open in front of everyone in the camp, an indignity that's also sparked grave fears for their safety. Yesterday, aid workers found the bodies of at least three women dead at a bathing area in the camp called Zone 2. It's not clear how they died, but the incident has caused the UN to ask for the soldiers guarding the bathing area to be replaced by 20 female police officers and for civilians, not the police and army, to investigate complaints of sexual abuse in the camp. The military says the allegations were part of a Tamil Tiger information war against it. There is a huge propaganda machinery against, against Sri Lanka. There again I must say, as I've told you, that when you handle two, three hundred thousand IDPs, they're not going to be perfect and absolute fine. I mean, I'd be a great liar if I say so. So if your soldiers are abusing people or responsible for disappearances, they should be punished? Definitely. The, 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 we will take course of action, uh, legal course of action, and then they'll be punished. Because we are, our forces, we know that they're one of the most disciplined forces. That's not something human rights groups would agree with. There are uh, paramilitary and military forces uh, active in and around the camps with a history of basically disappearing people. So people are extremely vulnerable and not getting the help that they need. The UN has asked the camp's authorities to investigate some of these allegations and would prefer civilians to be in charge of the camp. But the army remains the dominant force there and aid agencies have found themselves assisting a program of internment that one aid worker has told us the government saying could last for three years. Nick Payton Walsh, Channel 4 News, Colombo. Well, the Sri Lankan High Commissioner Nihal Jahasinghe 
is in West London. Um, High Commissioner, at the very least, there is a climate and fear in these camps. Um, is there? Um, I am unable to, to comment because I know nothing about this. I have not heard anything about any exercise by the Sri Lankan army. But I do know that there is a tremendous disinformation campaign by the LTT and uh, I, I am certain that this is also a part of that campaign. And I, if, there is, if these things are happening the way it has been alleged, I, I ought to have known. I don't think this is true at all. Well, one of the reasons you don't know is because there are no international aid agencies in there of any uh, uh, great depth, and, and the media is only taken there on very occasional militarily guided tours. The fact is, if you would only open this up to uh, the United Nations properly and to aid agencies properly and to the media, we would know the truth. Yes, that, that's a matter for the, for the government. I am unable to come in from, from London what steps the government ought to take. But I think we, I know that we have a very responsible government uh, which, is, uh, which is democratically elected, which has respect for human rights. And if there are any, uh, any excesses on the part of the security forces, mm -hmm. the government will deal with them if it is brought to its notice. But I am, I am unable to, at this point of time, to comment from, at, from this head uh, whether those allegations are well, uh, well founded. But I know that the, the, the uh, media people are being taken in uh, uh, to, the, to the IDP camps and, uh, and they have not, up to now, uh, said anything of the sort of things that has now been alleged. Well, High Commissioner, they've not been taken to this camp. We managed to get in there illegally with these cameras, uh, courtesy of some assistance from people inside. You must be a very frustrated diplomat. Here you are uh, uh, securing a military victory against a, a, an organization which is led by extremists and you are losing the propaganda war. Surely you will want an international investigation into these uh, uh, allegations of atrocities. I think once we became con become convinced that the in the, these media organizations are uh, reliable, then I think well, the Sri Lankan government would let them in. Uh, well, right well now, what, what do we have to do? Always, what do we have to oh, do? Uh, no, listen, as, as, as I have always been saying, for, for media men, bad news is news. So we, they thrive on bad news. So I, uh, I want uh, the, the, the media men to, be, to act more responsibly. And I, I don't think my government is satisfied that there is that uh, degree of responsibility manifested by the High North Commissioner, your, your, your government has decided the New York Times, the BBC, Channel 4 News, all these people are unfit to report your conflict. Yet you are saying you have the that. good news, <laughs> no. the good news of, no. of, of winning this military battle against these right. Tamil extremists and you won't let them in there. I, who are you to judge who's good no. and bad? We, 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 we will let them in once we are satisfied that the, the the conditions are conducive for, for, for public view. Well, High Commissioner, thank you for joining us. We look forward to having right. free access to those camps. Right. Now, it's right. been